Hello, welcome back to our videos. Today we're looking at making something out of willow again. We've already shown you willow. It is a very bendy wood and we're going to use that bendy property to make a willow star wand today. So we hope you will have a go. Here are the things you may need. We've got some scissors, some string. You may want to use some wool. We've got our willow branches here. And if you want something a bit easier, you could use some pipe cleaners. So I've got some sparkly pipe cleaners here. Let's get started. So I've got a, quite a reasonable length bit of willow here. And to make our five pointed star, we need to find, fold it into five equal pieces. I'm gonna leave a bit as the handle and then I am going to fold these bits. So here we go. I'm gonna fold down here. So that's one. Those will be my first two bits. I'm gonna fold it, leaving a bit extra here. This first piece we want to be a little bit longer, that will become clear why later. So I've got three pieces now, bending it again. Uh, that's now four pieces. And last bit, five pieces. So you can see I've got five equal pieces there. The last bit will be the length of your um, wand. Now you've got your five pieces, what you need to do is start to think about how it's going to make a star shape. So this can be quite tricky, but I like to think about trying to make uh, the angles of the triangle. So if you have your long piece and this bit is going to be having a little acute angle there, the next piece, this is going to be the next corner of your triangle and you will need to have another, the same size angle over there. This next fold will make another corner and you can start to see the star shape forming now. And this last one will fold down back to the handle. So we have our star shape in place and now we just need to secure it. So the easiest thing to do is to secure at each of these cross points here. Um, and you can either do that with something easy like a pipe cleaner so I've just got bits of pipe cleaner that I've cut up and they're going to go round the back, give them a twist and then round through those other holes that you haven't been through yet and give them a twist and you can keep wrapping round like that till you've used up your pipe cleaner. Next one, I'm going to do this one next to hold that in place. So once again, you can use your pipe cleaner, wrap it round the back give it a twist. This is what we tend to do with younger children that find it easier to use pipe cleaners and string. Put it through the other holes and give it a twist. And we often say using turning the tap fingers for this. It's a really good fine motor skills technique. So now probably the next one I want to secure it is about here. So once again round the back Give it a twist through the other sides. Give it a twist. You can, of course, tie it with some other things. Megan is a bit older, so she's using some string um, and practicing her knot skills. So she is going over and under, overlapping it, and then finishing with a reef knot to secure each section. So she's working around the same sections as I did before, but they're giving those a good tie. And then you can cut off any excess string. Megan's nearly finished hers, tying it all off. You can see Megan's actually still got some of the catkins and leaves on the end of her willow because you really can make these ones any way that you want and make them really individual. If you want to, you can actually decorate your star now. So Megan's choosing to decorate hers with pipe cleaners. So she's attached it on to the corner of uh, one of the triangles in her star and she is winding it in and out. This is actually weaving. So it's going in through the triangle, out, round the other side and back in through that triangle. And getting a nice, she's already done one over here purple one. Megan, if you move your hand, we can see. And so she's decorating the corners. 
so you can also decorate with another piece of willow so I'm doing the same thing that Megan was doing but I've got a bendy piece of willow so I'm going round in through the triangle coming out the other side oh bent that's broken not to worry so it goes in bends round and tucks in through should tuck just under there and hold it. Get my next bit of willow in and uh, and through, and I can keep going like that with my different bits of willow and do all of these triangles. I like mine because mine looks like it's shooting because of its catkins. And I decorated mine with um, some shiny pipe cleaners and I added a pink handle to make it multicoloured. My wand I've chosen to weave um, some natural materials into the corners. Um, so I ran out of willow so I've actually found and used the brambles from yesterday which I really like the colours of. So that's my wand. We hope you enjoy the challenge of making your five-pointed star wands today. Maybe you can cast some magic spells um, and we'd love to see your creations. Don't forget, if you're enjoying our videos, we would love to, um, for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Forever Green Forest School, and that's where you can find out about all our videos. Thanks, bye.